What is up, YouTube? Still in the seventh seed. So I had some VC, so I decided to buy some players, and I decided to get Richard Jefferson because he was only 320, and Thomas Robinson because I did need a backup small forward and power forward. So so far it's going pretty good. Getting some more players, getting my VC up, and I looked at my opponent's team, and they were not that good. But he does have some shooters. And so one key thing in my player is never take your opponent lightly. So at this point, I do believe I have matching jerseys. But I still need the Miami Heat floor. Because I have to see the black jersey. And I have the white one. So here giving this McGee. And taking him in the post with Moses Malone. A nice easy hook. And now my opponent wasn't bad at all. He was actually pretty good. As you see right there, Joe Green getting the uh, shot. And he was pretty good defensively. He did bite on a lot of pump fakes, but he was good. He was good at the break and was good at shooting. But that hooks him with the ball, pushing it up to Joe Green, who's about to windmill, and the ball gets stripped. I don't know how that happened. So Luau Hudson right there with the miss three. He gets the rebound. He's pushing it with Barnelli. Right there just pulls a wide open three. He was looking to get a three more often than not. And right there McGee running on the break wide open. Slamming it down on McGee. So one thing I've noticed once I got to the seventh seed. A lot more players started to have McGee on their team. And Terrence Ross and Joe Green. So that's one thing I'm going to do. I'm thinking about buying some players, but I have a few games recorded, probably like two or three ahead of this, because I do go undefeated in the seventh seed, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm saving up a lot of VC, and there are two NBA players I'm buy. One I'm pretty sure of, and the other one I'm indecisive between two players. So eventually when the time comes, I'll get a video out for you guys. And then I'll ask you guys your opinion because I want to know what everyone thinks. Right there, Thomas Robinson getting his first points on my team. So I'm up by five at this point with 11 seconds to go in the first quarter. And he's pushing up the ball and he is wide open, but I got it back on defense. And Ronnie Price is right there. And then force him up a three and he does miss. So right now we're in the second quarter. But he did scramble a lot and did double team a lot. This was something I noticed. So it did leave me wide open a lot. So I had a lot of open threes. And that's one thing I noticed about my team. Is with the starters, they're, they're okay. Three-point shooters. You know, Terrence Ross is really good. Gerald Green's really good. Richard Jefferson. But the people who aren't as good is Luau Hudson's not that great of a shooter. And Cunnings isn't. So one thing I'm trying to do is get more three-point shooters. But one thing I might do is when you open the packs and you know how you guys get the the um, the skill like plus six or something. I don't know if that's permanent. But that's one thing I might do. I might start keeping those and giving them to my players for not having a good three-point shot. For mainly Law Hudson because he doesn't shoot threes very well. And any other players that I buy, you know, I might upgrade their stats. So right there, he does get the free throw, and I'm up by five. Six seconds left. And I do throw a bad pass, but Joe Green does pick it up. And I do get the wide open three, but Ronnie Price misses. Just like Ronnie Price, he's not that good of a three-point shooter. You know, in the in the AFC, when I first started playing, he did make quite a few. But that's because I was wide open. So right there, I'm hitting Joe Green for the three because he is a great three-point shooter in this game. Right there, Ronnie Brewer. And that's one thing my opponent did do a lot is dribbling the key and then force the big on him. He would force some kind of switch, and then he would just pass it into the post. So if you don't time the steal right, it's kind of hard to defend that. As you see right there, he just goes in the post and gets it off to McGee. So I know how to defend it, but it's not exactly that easy all the time. 
And right there, Joe Green getting another three-pointer. So the main way to defend this is to keep them out of the paint. And right there, Joe Green left them wide open for the deep three-pointer. So at this point, I'm only up by two. And I was there for the steal, but I did miss it. So he did get the wide open dunk to tie this game. And right there with DJ Augustine, I figured why not take it all the way. I'm not as apt to take it with the point guard who can't dunk because it's a little harder, you know, when that happens. Right there, Joe Green with a nasty jam wide open. I was going to lob it to McGee, but I'm not up by a lot, so I can't take many risks. And right there, he doubles in to DJ Augustine, so right back to Moses Malone for the easy layup. And Hudson with the rebound, pushing it up. Figured just go on the post, give him a little up and under, and Moses Malone scores again. So, so far he still is my best player on this roster, so I try to go to him as much as possible. So I'm up by five in the third quarter. Right there giving it to Malone, the wide open shot. I should have waited the extra three seconds, but I had a good opportunity. And I did get that steal, and I should have pulled up. But he ended up bureauing and scoring, but the shot did not count. So right there, taking in the paint with Richard Jefferson, kicking it out to Terrence Ross for the wide open three. So right now, I'm starting to build this lead back because I'm learning how he's playing. As you see right there, I'm getting the steal. So he couldn't get it in the post as easy as he wanted to. And right there, Richard Jefferson wide open for the slam. So I was going on a big run in the fourth quarter. And at this point, my opponent was really mad that he missed that shot. And I had to alley it to Terrence Ross. And at this point, he told me I won and he ended up quitting. So that's basically going to do it for the game. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.